Donald Trump's supporters might see his visit as a strong reaffirmation of his dedication to the military and deep respect for the sacrifices made by soldiers. To them, CNN's remarks could be perceived as coming from a media outlet disconnected from core American values. Meanwhile, critics of Trump have been stirred by Jim Acosta's framing of the visit, interpreting it as an attempt to exploit a solemn occasion for political gain. Jump to um, the campaign a little bit. This morning, uh, former President Trump was at Arlington National Cemetery where he marked the three-year anniversary of the bombing that killed 13 service members during the Afghanistan withdrawal. Um, this is someone who, according to his own former chief of staff, said Americans who died in war are, quote, suckers and losers. Trump denies that, although John Kelly confirms that Trump did say that. Um, he more recently said a civilian award is, uh, quote, better than the Medal of Honor. Uh, you're a former Army Ranger. Is he politicizing these soldiers' deaths? Should he even be at Arlington National Cemetery if he's going to uh, make uh, some politics out of this? Well, I, I also mourn the death of those 13 service members. You know, every death of a service member is a, is a tragedy. Uh, at the same time, I, I mourn the deaths of, of the over 2,400 service members who died during the 20 years we were at war. Uh, and I just look at President Biden, uh, under whose leadership we actually ended and made the tough decision to end our nation's longest war. It became very clear to me years ago that this war was not winnable uh, through military means. Uh, and sitting here today, uh, we are honoring the death of those who died in service to our country. And at the same time, we are not at war in Afghanistan. And that was the right decision by President Biden. And as you know, I, the former president is now suggesting he may skip uh, that debate next month uh, with Vice President Harris. When we say next month, and it's coming up very quickly, it's in the next couple of weeks. Um, and a post on a Truth Social account, uh, he, he says, why would I do the debate against Kamala Harris on that network going after ABC saying, stay tuned. Uh, any thoughts on that? Well, I'm somebody that believes there should be debates. You know, and this actually goes to what I'm doing here today in Pennsylvania, right? Uh, America should condemn political violence. violence. There's no room for it period, in our, in our discourse, and our political system. At the same time, we're going to have a political campaign. And there's nothing wrong with that. We, America has to learn how to disagree again, how to have tough debates, sometimes fierce debates. And we're going to have those debates. So, you know, uh, uh, Vice President Harris has been really clear. She's ready. She's ready to, de to, uh, to uh, debate, to get, to get this on. Uh, and uh, I hope Donald Trump is willing to step up and also have those debates, because uh, there's really important issues uh, for the American public to see the differences in those candidates. Trump's visit to Arlington can be interpreted as an act of honoring the fallen, aligning with traditional values of patriotism and military respect. CNN's criticism reflects the broader political divide in the U.S., where even solemn actions are scrutinized through a partisan lens. The visit, rooted in conservative values, highlights a contrast with the Biden administration particularly given Biden's absence due to vacation. Supporters might emphasize that the families of the fallen requested Trump's presence, viewing it as a testament to his genuine respect and commitment to those who serve the country. This aligns with conservative principles that prioritize the wishes of those directly affected over broader political narratives. Trump's actions can be seen as a sincere expression of his values, regardless of whether they are universally accepted, standing in contrast to CNN's portrayal of these actions as political gestures. The authenticity of Trump's visit to Arlington is central, symbolizing a meaningful choice made under the watchful eye of the public. Acosta's criticism can be viewed as an example of how public discourse often distorts genuine actions through cynical or political narratives. CNN's suggestion that Trump is politicizing death can be seen as an illustration of how media figures shape public perception by framing events in a particular way, ultimately fueling cynicism and further eroding trust in public institutions.